show you what else has been happening in Texas and we'll start with the new 20 year old Lydia Ko making her first start with a new caddy Englishman Peter Godfrey is on her bag this week and she had this birdie chance at 10. Putting down the slope here moving to her right sneaks it right in there on the right side. Nice one from 15 feet that would get her to one under through her opening 10 holes on the day level path through every single one of her first nine holes bogey at 11 now birdie chance at 14. Talked a lot about her changing her golf swing changing golf clubs one thing she has not changed is that putting stroke it remains one of the best in the world of golf. That was a long ranger she would finish at one under par meanwhile in park putting for birdie on her 10th of the day. Knocks this down from 20 plus feet just to three under par at that point. So she gets to three under, but it was Mi Young Ha who rolled to the top of the leaderboard early on day one in Texas with an incredible display of putting. The two-time winner on the LPGA Tour came up just one shot shy of matching the tournament record with her opening 65. World number three, Eri Jutanigan, headlines the pack that sits two shots back at four under par. Notably, you can see Lexi is two under with two holes still to play. The second day of the Volunteers of America Texas shootout on the LPGA Tour. It is at Las Galinas Country Club in Irving, Texas, and we will start with Lexi at the par 317. She only missed one green yesterday, and if you were watching her, you wouldn't have thought she was going to miss this one. Not only did it end up off the green, it ended off of terra firma. This one is one of the worst breaks you'll ever see, inexplicably off the green and into the water. And she would double bogey the hole and finish the day at one under par. Meanwhile, Michelle, we have this second at 18. Golf is certainly not a game of deserves. Lexi didn't give what she deserved, and or did Michelle. That one probably deserved to go in the water, but it bounces off the rocks and lives to play on. She knew that she got away with that one. That is some jump, by the way. She would actually go and par the hole. It it the rock short and bounced over. That is incredible. It's a crafty play. Five behind the leader. Envy Park was playing well once again. This is her tee shot at 17. She got quick on this one, don't you think, Dave? Yeah, a little quick. she needs to slow it down a little yeah. bit. <laughs> nice pace of that swing. That, that ball didn't land too far from where Lexi's ball landed. Anyway. Yeah, clearly hit with that a little one. more authority. She would get a birdie and finish six under for the tournament. Meanwhile, world number one, Lydia Ko. This her third of the par 518. And Lydia Ko uh, has changed her golf swing, trying to change it back to her old moves. Not quite there yet. Still struggling a little bit with her irons, but you wouldn't have known it if you were watching her there at the 18. She would birdie that hole and finishes even for the tournament. Stacey Lewis at 18 as well. Yeah, the more conventional route as opposed to Michelle Wee laying it back, pitching it up, nearly holing out. She would finish one under for the tournament. This is bonus coverage, as you can see, after our coverage ended. This is Eric Dutanning out at par three, four. They make it look so easy, but uh, a lot of practice goes into hitting that headshot, judging it correctly off the upslope, trying to stab it, keep it low, and get it to run out. That gets her to seven under par. There's Haru Nomura, who holds. The 36 hole lead up for second round 65. She sits at nine under par area and just one back. And Suzanne Patterson looms close as well. She's in sole possession of third place at seven under. World number one is one shot over par. Lexi Thompson is one under. And world number one, Lydia Ko, just withdrew this morning from the Volunteers of America Texas shootout due to a viral eye infection. According to her agent, a 20 year old had been fighting allergies all week due to pollens in the air in the Dallas area. Well, tough times for Lydia, but let's get to highlights from the rest of the field today. They're at Las Colinas Country Club in Irving, Texas, and we'll start with Michelle Wee. This is her tee shot at the par 317. Well, quite an up and down day for uh, Michelle Wee. She made five bogeys and five birdies. This is the last of those five birdies and almost a hole in one. That would get her to three under. Meanwhile, Eri Jutanyagan, this uh, birdie chance at five. You can see her staring this down, looking to make it, walking it in. Nice pitch shot. And that got her to eight under par. Meanwhile, an amateur in the field playing well, Yung Song, this her approach at 12. I'll tell you what, she has really scrambled this week. She's hardly hit any fairways, hardly hit any greens, and yet she's got a chance to win. Marvelous shot right there. 
getting out of the rough and using the slope. And that got her to eight under par. This is her now at the 18th hole. Pretty tricky putting through so much fringe, back into the wind, down the hill. Well judged. Nice putt. The birdie would get her to six under. The last amateur to win on the LPGA Tour was Lydia Ko in 2014 in Canada. But in B Park, she's a veteran. This is a birdie chance at seven. And she slides that one right in. She would move to five under par. Meanwhile, Christy Kerr, recent winner on the LPGA, is her third at ten. And just uh, a gutty player who can just come up with shots in big moments. Another one there. She won the last LPGA event, trying to make it two in a row. Indeed she did. That got her to seven under par. Meanwhile, Haru Nomura, she would have this chip at ten. Beautiful hands here, throwing it up in the air, getting it to land soft. It's got to fall in. Well, she would tap that one in for Buddy, and she does currently lead because it was a blustery day in Texas as well that saw only six golfers shoot under par. Japan's Haru Nomura does lead. Heading into final round, the Volunteers of America takes the shootout. It is a two-shot lead over three golfers, and they're pretty big names, including B. Park, Christy Kerr, and Young Song, who's trying to become, as I said, the first amateur since the year. So you, what happened on the LPGA Tour, so let's get straight to it. The Volunteers of America Texas shootout took place at Las Colinas Country Club in Irvine, Texas today, and I tell you, it was a very difficult day. Gusts up to 38 miles an hour all day long. This was Christy Kerr for a birdie at 17. Yeah, well, you thought uh, yesterday played hard. Well, yesterday's scoring average was just a smidge under 75. Today, 75 was a heck of a score. A beautiful birdie there by Christy Kerr. And now Namura. That's at the 16th hole. For her par, she would make bogey. All of a sudden, her lead is down to one. Yeah, we'll join her now. Her second at 17. Let's see her chipping across the green. We saw Lexi Thompson early in the week land on this green, chase through and go all the way across, down the slope, into the water. This one barely stopped before doing the same thing. So now her fourth shot on 17, and this would prove costly, Brandel. Yes, uh, just a, a pivotal hole. I mean, it didn't look like that bad a shot. Now, for double bogey, and what a clutch putt. You don't hear this said very often, but that was just a great double bogey. Yeah, really, do you see a fist bump for double bogey? Kerr would have this birdie chance at 18. Bouncing it up through the fringe. Never quite kept his line because of that. Ended up a little bit left. Would make her par, putting the pressure back on her opponent. Yeah, Nanamura Haas at 18. And she is a fantastic scrambler. Best of ball strikers, but uh, she is very creative around the greens. When she's got a putter in her hand, well, she is uh, a threat. So this is regulation and a birdie chance. Excuse me. She managed to hold that, which forced the playoff with Christy Curran. Well, it wouldn't be a short one, guys, but we'll join them on the <laughs> first playoff hole. <laughs> Par 5, 18. We've seen this a few times. So just to end it. It slips by on the right side. Overread the putt, and on they go. Yeah, we'll fast forward a few here because it took a while, the fourth hole. Yes, and these two players would trade looks for birdie, and that one, not only did it miss, it left her with quite a lot of work left, which she would make. They would go to number five. We'll join them now at the sixth extra hole, still on the 18th, and now Namura going for the par five green in two. Just an incredible approach shot here, cutting it around the lake, Around the tree, seeing it just left of the bunker. Just a beautiful display of golf there. Setting up an eagle putt for the win. But you just can't say enough about that second shot, which gave her this beautiful look at eagle. And it looked like it might just creep in the front edge, but she would settle for birdie and now curve to extend the playoff yet again. Missed that one to the left, and she knew it was costly. She was trying to go back-to-back -back on the LPGA Tour, but it was a third career LPGA Tour win for Haru Nomura, an incredibly impressive round of form she's had since February of last year. Jessica Porter had a wonderful round as well, but if you take a look at these scores, it gives you an idea of the conditions 
in Irving, Texas today. Incredibly tough wind gusting, as I said, for nearly 40 miles per hour all day long. Notably, EJ Swim, the amateur, ended up finishing in 40th place after a difficult final day. Well, thank you. Here are your top five LPGA Tour shots of the week. A moment ago here at 14, Angela Stanford. Her third from off the green. She poke it in. You bet she can. Nice shot from Angela. Amelia Lewis now at 18. See her short game prowess. How about it? That's terrific. Uh, that's going to give. Area Jutanagarn making a nice push. Her third at five goes in. Got a Kia Cadenza for hole in one at the 17th. Let's see if Michelle Wee can drive away with a new vehicle. Flag today cut 26 paces on, which sort of brings the water at the back of the green into play, but maybe we have almost. Annie Park, the T at 13. I thought it was going to be more than good. Oh. Whoa. 